Between changing diapers, scrubbing sticky fingers, wiping runny noses, putting away toys, because let's face it, stepping on Legos really hurts, dealing with temper tantrums, and toting Junior from school to practice to his friend's house, being a mom or dad can be exhausting. Of course, kids are real joys for the most part, and most parents say they wouldn't have it any other way. I'm Jeff Lerner, certified parent, and I'm here to share with you some ways that you can make money from home while on the go with your children. Today, I want to introduce you to some different ways to make money from your home that are easy on your time. And believe me, I have four children. I know how busy it can be at home. And before we get started, please do go ahead and tap the like button below and press the red subscribe button as well to join this channel and always be informed of the latest and greatest ways that you can make some extra money from home and live an awesome life that you love. Number one, start a free Amazon Associates account. Now you've heard of Amazon, right? Well, it is the place to shop online and it's easy to get started as one of their associates and make your first dollar. All you need is a computer or even a smartphone, a social media account, and some sort of basic website. So all you do is sign up or sign in to the Amazon website. And then after that, you go to affiliate-program.amazon.com. And once you're there, you can then join their associates program for free and become an Amazon affiliate. Now becoming an affiliate means that you are working with Amazon to get some sort of commission on sales of products at Amazon. And it can be on any item. And the thing is, you're not really trying to sell products to people. You're just recommending things that you already use. And if a person also happens to need that product, they can jump on and buy it through your link. To get started, you could just as simply as sharing something on your personal Facebook page. Maybe post about the teething ring that you like or a good computer to buy or the best coffee maker out there. Whatever your thing is, you can just share it to friends as a starting point. And one great thing about Amazon Associates is that if your friend or anyone buys a product and then while they're there, they go buy a bunch of other products, you also get a commission on those products too. Their purchases are tracked for 24 hours with something called a cookie. And then you can change up the products you recommend or you can have a second social media account or maybe on a different social platform that's more designed for the public to attract a bigger audience. And if you want this to be you know, more of a full-time gig, you can actually leverage a website or a blog and actually market the whole thing as an online business. Now, I have a lot more info on ways that you can do this that I teach through my training company, Entra, and I'm gonna talk more about that later. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We have many students that are moms and dads doing this exact type of gig from home while having quality time with their kids. Number two, sell something used or new. So perhaps you're good at arts and crafts, painting, making cute little household items. Well, you could be making money from home by posting these items on Etsy. All you have to do is open an Etsy account as a seller then have a look around and see what's already listed there check out the pricing and how the images look. Then you take some photos of your thing. Uh, let's say you like to crochet slippers and then you just upload it to Etsy. And people actually scroll around Etsy and are searching for these things and they may just find it and buy it directly. However, if that doesn't happen, then you'll want to share your item on social media with a link to your actual Etsy post. And if you have a website, you can also post it there on your website. The thing is, you have to know how to get people to see whatever you're offering. Digital marketing skills are what you need to do this type of thing. And as I said, I'm gonna post a link below uh, for you to access some training that I offer on these skills. And if you already have things that your kids have, say, outgrown, well, you can post them for sale on eBay, Craigslist, or one of the most popular ones is the Facebook Marketplace. Number three, become a virtual assistant. Being a virtual assistant is a great 
work from home opportunity for busy moms or dads. I know because I actually employ multiple virtual assistants who work from home all around the world and have families themselves. So I know this, I, I've seen this in action. And being a virtual assistant is where you're helping someone through the internet uh, via a pop-up or email. So you're basically providing either customer service for a business or you're working directly with the owner of a business or, or someone who you know, does business. And you basically do tasks like uh, if, you're, if you're working directly for someone who, who runs a business, you might be reading their email, you might be responding to people, uh, you might be answering customer service tickets or support tickets, you could be scheduling travel, you could be posting articles on websites, uh, et cetera. There's a million things you could do. And the nice thing about being a virtual assistant is that most of the time you can actually do the work whenever you want. So I, I know, for example, uh, the people that I work with virtually, I don't care when the work gets done. Usually I wake up the next morning and I just need it to be done by the next morning. Um, so that way, let's say you're home and the baby is napping, you can use that time to be a virtual assistant. And you can always ask around, ask business owners that you know if they're looking for an assistant. But the most likely, to, uh, the most likely spot to find a job like this is by actually listing your services and your availability on freelance websites, sites like Odesk, and freelancer.com are a great place to start. Four, you can sign up for survey sites. In today's world, everyone is looking for data. Companies spend a fortune to learn what things matter to consumers and what things don't. And there are so many benefits to this. Uh, the companies can now design products that meet your needs as a consumer better than ever. Hotel chains, for example, they design the hotels with your preferences in mind so that they're not charging you and you're not paying for features that you don't care about. And one big benefit of all this is that research companies are dying to know what you think and they are willing to pay you to find out. Now, there are a ton of survey sites on the internet today where you literally just sign up, take surveys, give, basically give your opinion and get paid. But the trick is knowing which of these sites are worth your time, whereas which ones are going to like call you five times a day with phone surveys and clutter up your inbox with spam email. On the good ones, you do these surveys on your own time, you fill out as many as you want, and they don't bother you. And you can sign up, uh, three of the sites I recommend are Survey Junkie, Swag Bucks, and American Consumer Opinion. We'll put those links uh, down below. Number five, create a vlog. Now, as a mom or dad working from home, you are probably doing many things that can be shared out to other people on video. There is a constant need out there for DIY, do-it-yourself videos, and people are looking at places like YouTube for the answers on how to do things. So if you're inspired by cooking, you could create a cooking channel, or let's say a gardening channel, or how to fix cars, or even let's say something like how to make kids' toys from recycled home items, or especially also computer skills are really good, any computer skills you have. The list is endless. The key though is you have to be consistent. Just set up a YouTube channel and post out regularly. Uh, I obviously know something about this and I can tell you this one, uh, it does take some time. It makes money gradually through uh, building up the monetization of your channel or one of the great ways to make money with this is actually sharing out some affiliate links like I talked about before through the Amazon Associates program, you can share those in the descriptions of your videos. Number six, become an online stylist. Uh, if you're into fashion or beauty, you can actually help women online to define their style. And I'll be the first to admit, I am not going to be doing this because nobody wants my help on these things, but they might want yours. And there are lots of different websites that you can apply to be a stylist online. Uh, you can call in over the phone or even just send in an email. Basically, make sure that you check around to see what hours uh, they offer, if there's flexibility with the hours, how many hours they need per week, uh, because obviously if you're home, you don't want to you know, overburden yourself taking care of your kids. Some good websites where you can start are thepennyhoarder.com or simplyhired.com. And number seven is being a social media manager. Let's face it, you already probably spend way too much time on social media uh, or doing things like say, pinning on Pinterest or posting fabulous pics on Instagram. So how about getting paid for your social media savvy? There are so many small to medium sized businesses 
that outsource to somebody just like you getting help running their social media pages. Literally millions of businesses do this. And if you're already good at social media work, then doing this well for businesses will actually, it's, it's actually pretty crazy. I've seen this. You do it well for one business and immediately you'll have other businesses contacting you for additional social media projects. So to do this well, you basically will have to perform online daily social media tasks. And that's across sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, maybe LinkedIn. You need to have strong communication skills and obviously you need to have a good solid internet connection. Definitely make sure to set expectations with your business clients, uh, what hours they expect, as this is something that requires jumping on a, usually a couple or several times a day to make sure that you keep the accounts moving and consistent, but it's also very flexible and totally doable with kids at home. Okay, so I hope that you have been inspired to get yourself out there and create some extra income while watching your kids play football in your backyard. We've covered uh, selling items, new and used, joining the Amazon Associates program, selling on Etsy, being a virtual assistant, signing up for surveys, creating your own vlog, being an online stylist, and also being a social media manager. Ton of stuff that we covered. Surely something is a fit. If you have any questions about these, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, as I said, to subscribe to this channel so I can keep bringing you this content. I really appreciate your support. Also, I mentioned in the beginning about a way that I could teach you to do some more digital skills to help you with you know, many of these options, but like the Amazon Affiliates Program uh, or selling on Etsy, basically to get people to see your stuff. At my training company, Entra, we've actually created a training that talks uh, the basics about setting up an online business from home. We show you the steps, we teach the skills, we give you the tools and we connect you with an awesome community of like-minded people. You can check us out on Facebook at Entra Nation, E-N-T-R Nation. Uh, you can also click the link in the description and check out our training. So all the best with your working at home. Be sure to catch my next video and I thank you for your time. I will see you on the next one.